Okay, welcome back to the Microsoft Official Academic Course um, review on the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, Installing and Configuring Windows 10, Exam 70-698. So we are in Lab 6, which is Configuring Networking, and we're currently getting ready to work on configuring a VPN client. Now, a VPN client, I love VPNs. So a virtual private network is a great way to help secure your data. And a lot of companies are going to this VPN server. So we're going to take a look at that now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into our domain controller. on tools all right so from tools we want to click on active directory users and computers okay so now we're in our active directory users and computers Want to expand? Well, oh, DM's already expanded. We want to click on users and right click and go into new user. Park and Wayne user login C W A Y N E. And next, this is going to be our standard password we've been using. I'm going to uncheck this, check this, and check this. Of course, you never want to do this in real life. We're doing this just for the labs. Next, and then finish. Oops, back. Yeah, that's fine. Next next and finish. Now we want to double click on his account and click on the member of and add you already have domain Okay. You want to click on the dial in and the network access permissions. We want to allow access. If you're required to do so, this would be where you take your next screenshot. Now we're going to go ahead and close that of this by clicking on OK. And we're going to log on to CL1 and log in as a datum slash C Wayne. Okay, other user. D A T U M C W A Y N E password.
Alright, now we're going to go back into our network. So right click, open network and internet. Network and Sharing Center. There we go. And I want to set up a new network, a new connection or network. And then connect to a workplace. And next, use my internet connection, or VPN, and then I'll set up an internet connection later. So let's try this one more time. There we go. Alright, we type in the internet address. We're going to type in 172.16.0.13. Oops. 172.16.0.13. And then create. And then we're going to click on our network status. Okay, here's our VPN connection. And right click and connect. Okay, and we're going to click on there and then do connect. <coughs> Datum C Wayne and our password and then OK. I don't think that's going to go through because it's pointing to the VPN server, which is this one.
and your remote connection was not made because the attempted VPN tunnel failed. Okay, so what I did to get it to work, I will show you the steps that I did. <clears throat> the first thing I did is I went into my device manager and I had some other um, adapters on there from previous labs, so I had a couple of adapters on here. So what I did is I, I deleted all of my network adapters. And then I went ahead and, and to do that, you just right click and uninstall. Once you uninstall all those adapters, you want to click on here and right click and then scan for any hardware changes. And that's when this came back up. Now that you have your, your one network adapter on there, we're going to go back to here, open network and sharing. And network and sharing center and change adapter settings. I went back in and I updated the IP address because when I deleted it, deleted all that information. <clears throat> and then OK, then close and I went back and I, go, I went ahead and went through the steps of creating my VPN and then I connected and everything is working wonderfully. So here's my VPN showing it's connected. And if you're required to do so, actually this is the end of this lab. So you're going to take a screenshot from here showing that you have successfully connected your VPN. Put this in the end of this exercise and we'll be in this lab. And the next set of videos will start on lab 7, which is configuring storage.